Yes now YouTube, welcome back to another episode of our FIFA career mode where we, what did we do last episode? We signed our most expensive player yet in Mr. Bodu and he has proved to be uh, an instant success scoring a goal in last episode and in our, in our sort of work up to what is the start of this episode, which is the final of the European International Cup. Now, I just want to get into this and get this done so we can start looking at more players again. I probably will just get rid of this pookie. What is it? I forgot, mate. I, I apologise. There you go. I apologised. Yeah. Whatever. Someone is going to buy you, hopefully very soon, and you'll be off my hands. Now, let's sort this team out quick. Uh, we're going to have to swap him. Let's just go with Durami up there. Let's go swapping Cantwell out for Palacetta. And let's swap our centre-backs around. And we'll be good to get into... Who the heck is Brish... What did that just say? Bashiri? Who is this person? How old are you? 21. Good pace. Holy physicals. Holy strength. What the hell? This guy is a tank. Do I need to keep this person? I mean, defensively, he is a potato... He is only 21 though. Do I need to loan this person out? I wonder if I've already put him on the transfer list. Probably have. Anyway, uh, we have this person who is... Why are you negative three? Because you're playing as a striker instead of a centre forward. That's okay. Let's just jump into this game. Should we start with a sim? Who have they got? Volland up top. Balde, Martins, Ward-Prowse in centre mid there. Okay. Uh... Anyone else? Lecomte, goalkeeper, I recognise. I don't recognise anybody else. Let's play this game. This is the final, after all. We do need to get all the money. That would be great. Let's get this game out of the way, you guys, and uh, see if we can sign another player. What do you think? I mean, Buendia can't cross the ball to save his life, can he? That's fine. Let's see what we can do, guys, in this game. I'll cut back in again. When we score, hopefully, if we score. Hello, a warm welcome, and this is the scene here at the Zignali Duna Park. Well, body in the way. Okay, we're away early here. You know what we're going to do. A it's a chop. It's not a chop, but it's a finesse. Surely. I I don't know. He didn't chop. I'm not too sure what happened. But he wouldn't chop, but he would finish, and that is the thing. Uh, it's a good one. It's a good one. We don't get to see the replay, but you saw it. Stop it. You saw it. You saw it. Anyway, let's see if we can get another one. Let's get this game over and done with. Monaco ain't got nothing. Ward Proud. I'd be a bit annoyed to have lost the ball. Do they mean here we go, Durami's away here. Across goal, Durami! This is easy, it's too easy. It's too easy for me. They have some potatoes in centre-back, you know. Absolute potatoes. If we can get one more, we're not even 20 minutes in yet. If we can get one more goal, then, uh, I mean, we're away here again. And look, look at them step away. So we're just, I mean, look, it's just too easy for me. Do I need to be playing on ultimate difficulty or what? It's too easy. Let's give him the flop. Give him the flop. Flop it over. Flop yourself out. There you go. Get flopped on. Now, we're 3-0 up. And I'm talking pretty loud. But we're going to jump to Sim. Not to result, because we'll lose. We'll jump to Sim. And it's comfortable. It's comfortable. It's too easy for me. Now, what do you reckon they'll score bloody four goals straight off the bat but we should be fine to hold on we've not got the best centre backs on right now but the whole team otherwise is pretty good uh, let's see guys we'll get into half time see where we're at and then uh, if we're still 3-0 up we'll just let them carry on see if we can get the win and go from there whoa guys what did you do I only went away for five minutes to make a cup of tea and we've conceded two goals oh my god Right, well, I'm just going to have to jump in for the second half again then. And we'll see if we can grab a couple more. We can't let them back into this game. Absolutely not. Right then, we'll see. Can we score another one? 
Monaco certainly enjoying the lion's share of possession here. However, after that, the coach will be disappointed with what they've produced. They need to be a little bit more clinical in front of goal. Emiliano Buendia. And struggling to get... Go on then, Dorami. Easy. Didn't speak, but there you go. That is a goal. It's a brace for Dorami. He's done all right there, you know. He's done all right. But I think a lot of other players could have scored that it's a simple ball across box it's an easy turn and he's just rifled it across goal it's an easy finish but it is a finish nonetheless we're 4-2 up can we hold on hopefully yes we can all right max this is you no yes no ampadu oh okay Oh, I slid there. I've slid there to get it, and we've completely mistimed it. There you go. We'll bring on Jones. To be fair, yeah. Who who is this? Who scored this? I mean, I've slid that, and uh, Vanaken, whatever your name is. Okay. Well, they are kind of back in the game at four three. It's only a small slip up, and for crying out loud, they'll be uh, they'll be back in the game again. I don't like these little fancy turns they keep doing. Ward -Prowse. Yes, Ward Prowse is what you get. What? Stop that game! Come on, man. But they've got to do something positive quickly. Given away by Monaco. Oh, for crying out loud! Yes, much better challenge. Oh, Jesus. It's defenders. The defenders that aren't obviously rated as highly. They just don't have what it takes. But we win. So that is fine. We get another trophy. What is it going to be? Let's have a look at the trophy. It's an actual trophy this time. Love that. We've already got the charcoal trophy in our cabinet. We've got the, uh, the the championship trophy, and now Jones is the captain for some reason. I don't know why that is. But now we have an international trophy as well. We love that. Well done, team. Okay, well, let's advance this then and see if we can't grab another player to add to our ranks. It's a left back that we're desperate for. Um, and maybe a box-to-box -box midfielder. We will see what happens if we have someone that comes in to uh, to put an offer in for Buendia it'll be a big offer he is the one he's the highest rated player in our team seven what the hell scout report on oh, okay Kamavinga interested actually let's see box to box 33 millions oh my goodness I mean he's very good he's very very good he's rated 79 at the moment Nuno Mendes, 8 million. Interesting. Good sprint speed. Stamina's all right. Ball control. Defensive awareness. Shot power. Okay. So defensive stats aren't amazing. But he is one that has got showing great potential. He's one with with a good potential to improve. Jeremy Doku, 12 mil. 70, and he was 74 rated, Mendes. 75 rated um, Jeremy Doku. Very quick, of course. Wow, wow, wee, wow. Look at that. Jesus. Great dribbling, ball control, and short pass. And at the moment, that is that is it. So he's quick. Um, but arguably, it's better to have stats in those places first. It's easier to train up the technicals than it is to train up the physicals, I think. Right, so that'll be three of those emails. Scout report, Kamavinga, Doku, Mendes. Pookie sold. There you go, he has gone. So that's nine extra million. That's three million for that. And uh, I don't know what that is. Okay, player chat. Hey boss, I'm sorry how things have played out. I hope there are no hard feelings. Go. I'm not going to say anything to this guy. You're disgusting, but you did help me win the league now if we advance this let's see that is the pre-season tournament out of the way uh bsc young boys want martin is this a loan to buy it is for 1.3 million Do you know what you can have him i'm not going to use him left mid cam do i have to negotiate this oh my god 
City, I guess I could have delegated it, but we'll get in here. We'll get in here and we will, uh, we'll just accept it. You can have him. He's 64 rated. He is not going to be a player that, uh, 40, 60. Oh, Jesus Christ. For the sake of 360 quid, seriously. 1.3 million transfer fee. Well done for wasting my time. Has he? He's already been accepted closer. I think that was at the end of the last episode. We accepted him for a million. Can this go, please? Yeah, fine. I don't like having little things lying around. Really. The wing players, the wide players, I'm going to spend maybe less on. And, uh, oh, has this guy got back to us yet? This one was amazing. And yeah, the, the the wide players will spend less on. Like I'd probably prefer to get Agu here. And can we can we loan to buy him? No. Darn it. Buy between five and seven. Now what about let's go buy. Uh begin negotiations. What if we did a transfer a player for this one? I just need to get uh, offer a transfer offer a player so I just need to get a decent fullback in. What midfielders do we have that we don't need? Moritz Leitner. Tribal played in the last game. So he may well be. And a transfer fee of five, six million. Submit. What are they going to think to this? Let's discuss alternatives. We want four. And jo why does everyone want Jones? Everyone want Jones. It's ridiculous. Uh, remove exchange player. Or propose another exchange player. Not. Is it, I would imagine this is a different one. Not, not a one as well as Jones. How about Aaron's is worth twenty five million. Jesus. How about him instead? We'll swap your left backs. That's more realistic. Okay, I actually kind of wanted that other left back, but there you go. We'll just negotiate this guy in. He's higher rated. Uh, he is a little bit older, actually, but maybe that was pointless. Now, he wants to be important. He will be. Let's see the wages that he wants. He's on 11 grand there at the moment, wherever there is. No release clause. Okay, the important one. Do we say... That's a million. We don't say a million. Do we say 10 grand and that's it? Let's see what they say to that. Fair enough. 90 grand signing on. 66 after clean sheets. Counter. Uh, remove the bonus and submit that. What, did, what are they saying to that? I didn't see. Did it say yes? I think it said yes. Now let's go back to the squad and just put him in. And he is already. He's already in the starting lineup. Uh, so that's good. Now, interested to see if anybody comes for Buendia. Let's just continue this. I'm going to keep on pressing simulating these uh, these training days, and we'll see if we can get closer to the start of the season. Why has everything turned different? Everything's turned pink. Is this because we're now technically in August the 1st? I guess this is because we're now in the Prem. It's all changed colour, it's all pink. I mean, I like it, but it hurts my eyeballs. Youth squad monthly report. A youth scout report available on these people. No, thank you. Let's just get rid of them both. Thanks. Oh, this is actually hurts my eyes. Right, we come back and we have Watford. First game of the season. Interesting. Alan, who the hell's Alan? Loan to buy for you and Alan. Uh, delegate. I don't know. Advance this. Start. Don't sell a player for less than. Is this going to work? I don't know what happened. We'll see if that works. Okay, so first game of the season is going to be against Watford. I want to uh, continue this on so let's see if we can oh what's happening here tribal transfer offer do you know what 
Yes, you can have him. I'm not going to use him. He's 28 years old and seven and a half grand a week. Thank you very much. Oh, if Big Boy Dyke wants to play. Okay. Uh, I'll think about it, Big Boy. I'll think about that. I may well bring him on. It'll be interesting to see how him and uh, him and the other boys get along. Now, let's see. Let's do this media thing. And we will get into our first game of the season against Watford. Hey, what do you know about Bo Du? In the right place at the right time, finishing that off. First game of the season. And uh, he scores his first proper goal for the club. Love that from him. Love that from him. We have decided to... Uh, start Dyke instead of Adeyemi, which may well be an interesting choice. But I just wanted to give Big Boy Dyke a go. I'll probably get to about 30 minutes and then jump in, or I'll just jump in at half time. Let's see what happens. Oh, is that Dyke? Hey! Look out! Dyke with the top bins finish there. Looking like he's holding off the defenders. Okay. I see you. I see you. Uh. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Saar brings one goal back. It's a good game so far. 2-1. It's so annoying that we're blue. I keep thinking we're yellow. But we are blue. 2-1 up. Let's see if we can carry on. Okay. We're in a half-time. 2-1 up. Uh, I'm interested to play this one, so I do want to just jump straight in. We'll see how Dyke gets on. We'll give him about 15 minutes, and then we'll bring Addy Amy on very shortly after that. I think we need to use the wings, though. Get this ball whipped into the box. I've got two big boys up there. I need to be uh, crossing that ball in. Let's go. Dyke's in the position that he needs to be in. Brings it inside. Oi! Yes, Dyke. Okay. Like that. Like that. Well done. He's been struggling to get into the right position all game. But he, I don't know how he actually managed to finish this off. Pulled it back. I don't know what their number five was doing there. But maybe that's his high strength. Let's bring, oh, Jones at 72 rated now as well. So that's that change. But we're also going to want to take off Dyke now. He's done his bit. Bring Addy Amy on. And then also, what do we think? Bring Cherky on. Let's give Cherky a game for Buckley over there. Give Cherky a little bit of a... What's happening? A few... Oh, can we... What's... What, I need to press this. Jesus Christ. There we go. Right. We need to improve Cherky's sharpness as well. So, uh... He can whip the ball in. Let's see if we can do that for Big Bodu. Only about 10 minutes left. Let's wrap this game up. Adi Amy. Square it. Little touch. Have a go. Easy. Easy. You got nothing on me. 4-1. Victory is more or less guaranteed. No, it is guaranteed. There we go. That is a win. 4-1. Love that. First game of the season. Easy win. Easy win. We do a post-match interview against uh, against these guys. Yeah, Dyke did play alright, actually. He's a bit sloppy. I'm going to have to see if I can up his positioning, because that is something he's terrible at. He's already made his mark. Bodu, yeah, he did bits. Agu, he was an absolute potato. Was that, maybe a bit of a letdown? Uh, it takes time for a new boy to settle in. Yeah, have that, have that, because he wasn't brill. Adiemi, he looks the part, doesn't he? He does. Adiemi's a friggin' Thanks beast, so man. Right, next up then, hey Gaffer, you did do well, to be fair, boy. You did do well. Great performance, my G. Good stuff. Right, we are on loan day. We're on loan day? That's not right. Wait a minute. What the hell? We're on game day, in fact. No loan, just game. So, we're going to play match. We're going to have a look at our team one more time. What does it look like? Bodu, Adi, Amy, looking very good. Buckley, I'm convinced I want to play with 
two holding midfielders and not a CDM and a cam. I want to play with two box to boxes. So we kind of need to offload when. I wonder what if we find a really good, a really good. In fact, let's back out of this for a sec. I'm going to try something crazy. Search for. There's one player that that I feel, what was his name, uh, last year was an amazing player and probably will be again this year, is Sandro Tonali. Now, we haven't scouted him at all. His contract expires soon. I will scout him, I'll add him. And I wonder if we swap, uh, we swap Buendia for Tonali plus X amount of money or minus X amount of money then we'll have our two holding midfielders. We won't play with any cams. And we'll go from there. I just prefer a, a 4 4 2, like a holding 4 4 2 formation. It just works a lot better for me. Graven Perch isn't strong enough to hold down the whole of the, the back line of midfield on his own. He's just not strong enough to do that. So I'm interested to see what happens. Let's get into this as, uh, as we're going to play our game. Against Southampton. I am going to sim the start of this. And we'll see how... The, they've got DJ Nepo on the left-hand side. Love that. They've got some sims on the right-hand side. Playing with sims. Nice. Gunning goal. I have no idea who any of those players are. Let's carry on. We'll sim this, guys. We'll see if we get smacked in this uh, first proper Premier League side of the season. Okay, go on then. Hey, who do you know? What do you reckon? Addy Amy, first 20 minutes, comes through, comes through with a goal for us. Love that from him. Love that. Let's see if we can get another one. Doing bits against Southampton so far. Nice one. So, we go into half-time, 1-0 up against Southampton. Love that. Looks like we're doing all right, you know. We're doing all right. Team's doing good. Addy Amy with a 9.0. Let's jump in. We'll play this game. And uh, we'll see if we can see all this. I don't know how good they're going to be. Probably one of the best teams we're going to have come up against so far. So uh, let's see what we can do. Over it comes. And running it back. Being pressed and pressed high. Breaking at pace. Oh my god, that's an outrageous pass. Addy Amy, let's go. We're going to be unselfish. And square it. He deserves it. He deserves it. He broke out of our half with it. He managed to thread it nicely through to Adi Amy. And it was only fair to give it back to him to finish off the move. That was nice. We like that. And Southampton have got nothing on us. Nothing on us. Love that. Sweaty goal. Go team. And it made for a simple finish in the end. Southampton are panicking. From this position. Sims. Oh, hey, do you know what? He's a mad defender. And, and we've threaded it through nicely to Bodu. Let's get it on his right foot. Let's finesse that. And that's an easy one. That's another easy one. When they've committed, when they're going ultra-attacking like, like Southampton were there, it's an easy couple passes, opens the defence up, especially with 90 pace. They are not going to be able to keep us out. But they're still coming forwards. Hold them off. Let's keep a clean sheet here. It'd be nice. Oh, that's a foul. Let's keep this out. Couple more minutes. Let's get Danny Ings out of the way. Love that. Hold, pull him wide. Pull him wide a bit. I don't know what's happened there. No skill moves. And also mean no intelligence. That's a good though. Easy. 3-0 win. Do we go post-match? Yeah, let's just do this. This is where we're going to wrap the episode up. But we just want to make sure our transfers are in the right position. Let's uh, let's get this post-match interview out of the way. Hey, what's my morale content for? Our defending gave us a platform. We have to... Yeah, no, that was good. That was good. It was good defensively. Happy team equals Addy Amy transfer offer. Psh, you're having a joke, aren't you? Who is it? Ajax as well. I don't think so, Ajax, unless you can offer me 
260 million, it's a definite no. He is the boy. He's going to be with us for a minute. He's going to be with us for a while. That's an absolute no. Let's just fast forward this a little bit. Let's see where our next game is going to send us. Uh, I just want to hear back from a scout real quick and see if anybody wants any more of our plays. Oh, yeah, Manchester City in third place. What was that? Who is a Sinani? Who is this? For Besiktas. You know, Sinani, the Punani, you can go to Besiktas. I don't know who you are, to be very honest, but you've not got a face, so you're not going to be in my team. It's another little bit. It's a little bit of money. It's a little bit more money for us. Now, we'll get as far as game day, see if we've had any more emails. Are we going to have any more emails? We do have, and it's a transfer offer for SOM. And this is the idea, exactly this. We want to sign these young players to literally sell them. I'm not going to use these young guys. They can be signed up. Unless they've got a very high potential, they are going to get gone. Uh, one more advice. Oh, look at this. Two... Two, uh, two game rest cruel transfer offer with Sociedad to be honest eight and a half grand a week three they're offering 3.3 mil his market value should be about four let's delegate and ask for three point don't sell the player for less than 3.8 start the offer at Start the offer at four. We'll go with that. Start the offer at four. Don't sell for less than 3.8. Let's see what they get back to with us. I don't mind. We can sell Cruel. Again, he's been a beast for us. But I'll be very honest. If they get through to going on goal, because we're playing on such a hard difficulty, more often than not, especially in the Prem, if they shoot, they're going to score. We just have to outscore people. I'd be happy to give one of the youngsters a, a go in the team and see if they can... Uh, See if they can improve. Either way, that does lead us to game day. That is where we're going to wrap up. Now, I will remind you where we are at with our transfers. And it is Transfer Hub. We have... Where is the guy? Where is the guy? Where is the Tonali? This is the thing. Now, he's a very, very good player. Probably too good. But we're scouting him to see if maybe we can do a swap with um, Buendia. Swap Buendia for Tenali. So we've got two box-to-box -box midfielders and see how that works. If that doesn't work, we've got Camavinga. Camavinga's worth how much nowadays? Does, did it say? Yeah, there you go. Between 39 and almost 60 million. He's already gone up by one rating as well. He was 78, I think, when we started the episode. Jesus. Otherwise, it's Kral. Now, Crowell looks like a solid box-to-box -box midfielder. He's 23 years old, a little bit older, and he's only worth between 23 and 32. I reckon we could swap, for him at least, we could swap Buendia for him, plus 30 million, if that team, uh, Spartak Moscow, has enough money for him. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. That's all going to happen next episode, so make sure you stick around for that one. We'll see what happens. For now, though, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed, leave a like. Comment down below any suggestions, any players you think we should be getting. A replacement for Cruel, maybe. Or any uh, improvement on our formation, things like that. Let me know. Guys, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.